see this big this tick here is big and he's full and the other one by his eye is empty uh, or young or new so you could actually see here that you can't really put any solution on this tick because it's so close to his eye um, I would have to just take the tweezers and pluck it right out unfortunately and oh here's the uh, tick on, on between his fingers in his paw whatever okay so I guess that's just another close-up on the uh, All right, here we go. Since this tick is is full and it's old and large or whatever, they release pretty easily. So what I did was I gave him a drop of solution and then uh, just a small, tiny drop. And now I'm just applying some some pressure or agitation, pulling him. And he released it. You could tell he released it. You could tell if he's. You could tell you that he released it and. There's nothing left inside of the ear by inspecting the tick. And I looked closely at this tick and I noticed all of his um, mouth parts were still intact. So I disposed of the tick and I continue onward. And I look at this one here. Since it's close to his eye, I couldn't put a drop of solution on that one. Uh, but fortunately it was able to come come off wasn't too bad to come off very gently don't you don't want to scare the creature you want to be very gentle with him okay so here's the one between his paws and I think I actually put a lot of solution on this one <laughs> yeah here we go okay so put the solution on and then trying to agitate it the tick will start to release um, there's no way I can capture this on the camera but I saw the tick usually they uh, grasp on with all their little claws but um when I was doing this I saw him he was releasing and his, the only thing that was holding on was his mouth but uh, keep just tugging a little bit tugging I, apply, I started with very very gentle tugs and then I um, gave it some time and now I went back at it and uh, there you go came off I checked to sh make sure that all these ticks were